Hey guys, it's officially concert day, but 2 a.m. on concert day, as in before the concert 2 a.m. So I've just put some batteries into my army bomb and I'm testing it. Well, I was testing it and it seems like it works just fine. Okay, let me change it back. Yeah, so army bomb works, army bomb's ready. Um, what is next on my checklist? Anyway, this is a special edition concert vlog for 10 a day with Jay, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna exceed 10 minutes, but I know you guys will forgive me for that. Like, definitely, you won't mind that this, that this video is gonna be longer than 10 minutes. This is what's next on my checklist is making sure that I've got these, I'm, I've put them, I'm gonna put them in my bag like right after this and make sure that they're there. So I'm really hoping, you know, when I'm at the concert venue to give these to you guys as much as possible, especially with this really beautiful quote from Namjoon. <gasps> I heard his, I heard him speaking and, and rapping so many times today. It was so amazing. So can't wait, can't wait for the concert tomorrow. This is what's next on my checklist. It's a good pair of binoculars. I paid about 120 for this one. It's accompanied me on many a good BTS concert, Block B fan meeting, DPR live concert. Um, what else? I don't remember, but yeah. Oh, um, Seoul Jazz Festival, Diko Showcase, Eric Nam, Babylon, I, anyway, lots, many. <gasps> AOMG concert, oh my god. This pair of binoculars has seen a lot. So, okay, next on my checklist. This is my ticket. So uh, people keep asking me where I'm sitting and I really, I keep forgetting just because I haven't looked at this in the longest time. I'm sitting at section 409, gate four, row B, seat 12. This is a cat four ticket. It's not that great of a category, but it's whatever I always say. Any seat at a BTS concert is a good seat, trust me. It's still going to be one of the best times of your life. So I think last on my checklist for tonight is actually my two babies. These are my sons. Hippit, Hippit meaning sunshine. And Mokjin, Mokta, mok the verb, Korean verb for eat. So he's eatin and sunshine. So Hippit, it's uh, Hippit's first BTS concert ever. So he's dressed really nice. Please admire his hope jacket, his little visor cap. He's he's dressed his most stylish. He's even got his black shoes and everything. Um, Mokjin's wearing the outfit from Home Party. You know, they wore these like overalls, like coveralls, like a jumpsuit, together with these little cute scarves. And he's got the same piercings as Jin. Yeah. So, my kids are very excited. They're going to be meeting their other doll friends tomorrow because my uh, other ARMY squad members are also bringing their dolls. And it's just going to be a cute fest, isn't it, my babies? And they're, they're going to go around taking pictures with um, the decorations at the venue. Um, this is going to be Mokjin's, I don't know, fifth or sixth concert? Uh, well, those include fan meetings. So, Jin, like real life Jin, has actually seen Mokjin before. He's actually waved at Mokjin because during a fan meeting when Jin was walking by, um, I held Mokjin up suddenly. So that sort of like caught Jin's attention and he pointed and he waved. So yeah, Mokjin's seen his papa, but Hippie's never seen anybody. So. He's going to be so excited tomorrow. So I arrived at the venue now and I'm going to go inside the mall to give out my fan support. Because I heard people who were doing it outside got chased away. 
Oh my god, look at how many people are here. Kind of insane. But that's not surprising to be honest. I've seen worse for this little concert. Anyway, I'll see you guys in just a bit. Apparently that's the line for express booth. I thought express booth lines were short. Guess I was wrong. Oh my god, the insanity. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I will even have a place to stand around to give out my photo cards. Wish me luck. Okay, I have connected my army bomb and uh, so I've also input all my information. You should be able to do this in English. So I should be able to change color now. It already said that it's connected. Yeah. Uh, it says, there we go. Oh, you just directly go here with I've changed the color of my army bomb and even though I'm out of the app, it's still a very purple color. But the stuff is like so <laughs> This is where we're hanging out right now. Testing to see if uh, our army bombs can sync to the app and uh, if not then we're gonna go to the pairing booth. Some of my friends are having trouble so we might have to go. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's all going to work out in the end. I'll keep you guys updated. Be right back. You know, this is so fascinating. We got this. Everybody gets random photo cards, so everybody chipped in to get photo cards from there's a girl over there that's giving out photo cards. And you get random pieces and then you try to fix them together. Almost there. We need more people. Where's the full photo? My friend Celine looked up the full photo on Twitter. No, on Google. So that we could look and see what the puzzle looked like to see what pieces we were missing. It is almost there. Gorgeousness. Yeah, we are almost there. We need six more, actually. Two more friends. We need two more friends. We have now waited almost 40 minutes in line for a security check. Oh, I'm sorry. And there are still tons of people. But it's okay, after you get in, it's all gonna be worth it. Right, Celine? <laughs> and after like almost an hour, going to my gate now, it's gate four. Was subjected to a very thorough body check. This woman prodded everything, including my back fat and my friend's butt. That's crazy. At a gate. So to scan our ticket. Yes, we want to tear it out. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> the, all the, yes. We'll have an intact ticket. Woo! What? Oh. It said invalid. I was frightened for a second. <laughs> Thank you. It said invalid, and it totally shocked me. There's no fucking way because I bought it legitimately. Woo. Oh my god, it's from Dumint. 
It's from Jimin Serendipity. We just got so single last night, but also I'll update again when I'm sitting. God, this looks freaking amazing. Where are we? Are we in the wrong? Nice. Yeah, I think so. We gotta. It's fine. Oh, we're looking for a mall. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, okay. I'll update again once we're seated. This is such I can't wait till I can't wait till I whip out my binoculars <laughs> and then when they get there it's gonna be so good. Oh my god you guys this is really not a bad seat at all. It's such a great view right now. Yes, can't wait. Especially when you put your light. So before the concert, we were way too nervous to eat anything, and but after the concert, we were ravenous, absolutely starving. So the nearest, the mall had closed, but the nearest restaurant that was open, we had to wait 40 minutes in line to get food, and then another 20, uh, yeah, 40 minutes in line to get a table, and then 20 minutes more to get food. The concert ended at 10.30ish, and by the time we were done eating, it was 12.30. It's one o'clock in the morning now. We're waiting for our grab rides. 
been a while after the concert, but we stopped to eat because it was too crazy to go home. Okay, I'm home. Let me, let me look. Oh, is there some confusion? That's your driver? No, that's my driver. Oh my god. Did he get double booked? Oh, I think the guy behind is mine, SKZ. Yes. Finally, I'm going home. Okay, guys, I'm finally home. I look like a mess, a frightening mess. I'm sitting outside my house. My hair is like shit. I've sweated a ton, but, and I don't even know how this vlog is gonna turn out for today, just cause it's been like, such a chaotic day but it's been a fucking fantastic day and I really I can't wait to edit and show you everything that went on today and uh, here's my here's my slogan I have two you want to know why I have two slogans wow I look really tired don't I Look at these bags under my eyes. They're so terrible. I look all sweaty and shit. So, uh, yeah, I have two slogans because I found my second slogan on the floor. Someone had just left it behind, like, like on the floor at their seat, and they stepped on it. So I'm not sure if they did that on purpose or whatever it was, like, they were long gone by the time I saw it, so I just picked it up and brought it home because no slogan deserves to be left on the floor. My other friend, San my Sandra, my Sandra, my friend Sandra also found one on the floor and we found one torn in half. Like, why would you do that? Like, why would you tear it in half? That's just fucked up. It's a precious slogan from a concert, like from a wonderful concert that we went to. So what the fuck were you thinking? Tearing it in half, bitch. Anyway, I just had to, I just had a $30 ride home. It was so expensive, but no choice. Like pretty much no choices on how you get home from the concert venue. It's two o'clock in the morning right now and uh, I need to upload more videos and get to bed tomorrow. There is a um, Lumpjin and V exhibition that I'm going to, excuse me, here in Singapore. And then we're going to see the BTS bus in town and there's a huge Jungkook ad that I'm going to see as well. So plenty to show you guys tomorrow and uh, once again, if this vlog didn't turn out well, I apologize, but it was just real madness today. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I forgot to add one more thing to all the people that came and said hi to me today. And some of you guys came to give me like little um, stickers or uh, little cards and candy and um basically came to tell me that you enjoy my videos that is one of the best parts of my day today so i really appreciate it so much i love you guys and i hope you continue to support me and keep watching my videos i have so much more content to show you anyway that's it for today i'll see you guys tomorrow bye